so for the formation of um, images by lenses we are going to have uh, the object being placed at different locations but before we talk about the locations you can place the object i think there are like some few rules that we need to know so we need to know that the rays parallel to the principal axis principal axis are refracted through the focus so those light rays are going to be refracted through the focus so because a lens is a refracting um, apparatus that means the light rays are going to pass through it cross to the other side and there's going to be a change in the direction of those light rays so this is a very important rule for us to know another one is that rays passing through the optical center are going to be refracted refracted oh sorry they are not going to be refracted so the rays will pass through the optical center will be undeviated are undeviated undeviated so that means that they just keep going they keep going straight so another one is that rays through the focus are refracted parallel so that this is like opposite of the first one they will refracted parallel to the principal axis to the principal axis So this is the last one and we can have a quick example of this so that means that let's say these are lengths then this is the focus this is the optical center this is 2f so they then said if you have a light ray that is coming parallel to the principal axis as you can see that this is parallel to the principal axis it's going to be what refracted through the focus don't forget that a lens we have two surfaces it uses to refract so then there will be another f on the other side and there's also going to be another 2f on the other side so when it is refracted it's going to pass through the focus so that's the first one the second one is that when the rays pass through the optical center they are going to be undeviated so that means that we have a ray coming this way once it passes through the optical center it will just continue going that way there is not going to be any deviation of that particular ray while the rays that pass through the focus are refracted parallel to the principal axis so that means that if you have a ray that is coming and it passes through the focus by the time it touches our lens it's going to be refracted and it will become parallel to the principal axis as you can see that these two guys are now parallel so these are the rules that we need now after these rules we can start drawing our ray diagrams now for the ray diagrams don't forget that there are uh, many points that are of great importance and those points we have um, the f we have the 2f so these points are very important these points are very important as they are the ones that we are going to be using to draw um, our ray diagrams and they are going to be the ones that will determine where we are going to be placing the um, 
the object so so let's move okay so let's say we have a lens let's start with the convex lens let's say these are convex lens this is the principal axis then we have a body So we need to locate where f and 2f are going to be so let's assume that our f is here and here we have 2f now on the other side we have f prime we have 2f prime so the first position we are going to place our object is we place it beyond 2f somewhere around here so let's say we place it somewhere around here so here the object is beyond 2f now we can draw um, our rays that, was go that are going to form the image so let's say we draw this this parallel to the principal axis we know that it's going to be refracted through the focus right so we're going to have something like this then this one that passes through the optical center is going to be undeviated so that means this point where they are meeting is where the image is going to be formed now if you look at this image compared to the original object you are going to see that it is smaller so we can write the properties of this particular image and what are those properties where do we place our object that's where we start from we start that the object object beyond 2f so you can see that what are the properties of the images the properties of the image that is formed so the image our image is between f prime and 2 f prime right that's where our image is located you see that the image is inverted it is also smaller than the object that means it is diminished and it is also real now what do i mean by being real it is real means that we can actually see the light rays that are meeting at this particular point and at that point where they meet is where they form that particular image so this kind of image is what you call what a real image images that are formed when light rays actually meet so let's try another one let's try location so we bring the object closer to our lens now this particular lens is a converging lens as you can see that the rays converge um, the, the the rays move towards the um, axis towards the center after refraction so we are doing for converging lens converging so this is f this is 2f this is f prime this is 2f prime now let's bring the object closer so now the object is at where the object is at 2f so what are we going to have so the light ray that goes parallel to the principal axis we pass through the focus right it's going to pass through the focus while the one that goes through the optical center we continue like that so they are meeting at this particular point so at this point where they meet we can draw our image now if you compare the image to the object 
you see that they are of the same size the height is just 10 squares and the height of this is also 10 squares so they have the same size so this is for object at 2f so they having the properties are that they having what the same size the properties of the image the image is what it is real it is inverted it is real it is inverted where is the image at 2f prime so these are the four properties of the image that is formed in this particular case so let's do the next one we bring the image closer again so we're going to have something like this then we have our we have our f we have our 2f then we have f prime and 2f prime so where are we placing the object we are placing the object even closer so between f and 2f so we draw the ray diagram this will go pass through the focus this will go through the principal axis undeviated so these light rays are going to meet right but well, they are meeting at a point that is further than what i have drawn so they meet at this particular point so we can draw our image here so this is where the image is going to be formed now if you look at this this is when our object is between f and 2f object between f and 2f so what are the properties of the image the first one is that it is inverted it is inverted it is real it is here beyond 2f prime which other property can we notice you're supposed to have like four properties then it is magnified so these are the properties of the image so can we still move closer of course we can do that so we have this we have this we have f prime we have two f prime we have f we have two f now let's place the object at f if you place the object at f we have this line that goes and is going to be refracted through the focus and we have this line that passes through the optical center unrefracted now you look at this rays the way they are going they can never meet in any direction whether forward or backward they are never going to meet so that means that in this case our image is formed at infinity so when the object is at f the image is at infinity now we can see that this image is still going to be magnified and the light rays are not meeting so you can see the image is virtual and it should still be inverted although we can't see it should be inverted or when an image is virtual is usually erect so i can't say anything concerning that so i don't want to make mistake with that so let's just leave it like this that is virtual is magnified is is at infinity then what if we bring it even closer don't forget that everything that we are doing is for what for convex lens so this is f this is 2f this is f prime this is 
to f prime so we bring the object closer we have something like this how will the ray diagram look so this will come this way pass through the focus right then where is the second one going to go through it's going to go through the principal axis now if you look at these two lines they can't meet right forward or they can meet backward so that means that we trace them to the back that's when they are going to meet so something like this when we trace them to the back they will meet so they will meet at that particular point so let me draw this with dotted lines so this is what we are going to have so that means that there is still going to be formation of an image an image is going to be formed at this particular point at this point but this image is what is a virtual image because you can't actually see the light rays meeting what did we do we, we had to protect them backward as if they were coming from this particular point before they could meet not that they actually met at that particular point so this is an example of what you call a virtual image because the direction the light rays are actually traveling they are not supposed to meet but the way they are going is look as if they are coming from this common point so this image is what is a virtual image this is object at um, object between between the focus and our lens or object within the focus so this forms a virtual image virtual image it is erect it is not inverted as you can see so erect you can also call it upright it is erect it is where behind the object behind the object it is behind the object or you can say that it is on the same side as the object say that they are on the same side but when the lens is forming when the lens is forming virtual image the virtual image will always be on the same side as the object but when it is forming real image the image will be on the opposite side as you can see for that one the images are always on the what on the opposite side so it is erect or upright it is behind the object it is virtual i have said that what can we say about it again it is magnified and if you are very observant you are going to see that this is where we have the biggest images the, the biggest image among all of the images that we have been having there is none of them that is as big as this the biggest before was actually this right but look at this one this this is like 20 squares now look at this one this one is more than 20 squares like 22 squares so it's still more magnified than the previous one so this is where we can have the biggest um possible magnification that we can see but this one this also um has a very large magnification that's a large magnification but the magnification is not as big as this particular one so that is what that is how we draw the ray diagrams or the images that are formed by what by a um convex mirror a convex lens sorry not a mirror now for a concave lens you can do the same thing for a concave lens but don't forget that a concave lens is diverging it is not converging so that means that after the light rays pass through the lens they should what they should diverge they should not converge so this is f this is 2f this is f prime and this is 2f prime so what's going to happen we can place our object anywhere that we like for the lens so let's say we place the object here you will still arrive at the same result because this is a concave lens and not a convex lens so when the light ray comes this way what's going to happen is going to be refracted through the focus now through the focus no this one is supposed to if you draw it this way you are wrong why are you wrong because you are assuming that it is di it is converging but this is a diverging lens so it's supposed to diverge from the focus 
I didn't mean that it is converging like it will converge to the focus. So it should diverge as if it is diverging from this point. So it's going to be diverged this way. So let me draw this with dotted line. So that means it will look as if it is coming from the focus. It's going to look as if it is coming from the focus, which is exactly what we are having here. So you, you can see that this light ray is diverging, it is not converging. And even that it converge, it is going to go to this particular focus. So what else do we need to do? We need to draw the one that will pass through the optical center, right? So we can draw the one that will pass through the optical center. So this is that is passing through the optical center, which is not going to be deviated. So what do you notice? You notice that these light rays are meeting at this particular point. So they are meeting although they look as if they are meeting let me put it that way they look as if they meet at this point because this is actually a virtual ray we are the one that projected it backward because we thought from the way it looked it looked as if it was coming from this particular point so that means that there's going to be formation of a virtual image at this particular point so virtual image you draw it with dotted line so no matter where you place this object it will always form a virtual image why because it is not using the focus on the other side but the focus on the same side so as you can see here when we formed virtual image the two of them are on the same side and also look at this also when we are forming virtual image the two of them are also on the same side but in this case this image is very small so that means that when a converging when a diverging lens is forming a virtual image the image will be diminished but if it is a converging lens that is four minutes, the image is going to be what? Magnified. So that is what? One basic difference between the virtual image of a converging lens and a virtual image of a diverging lens. So look at this. For diverging, we don't even need to state the location of the object. The object can be anywhere and we still obtain this result. So what's going to happen? The, uh, the image is virtual. It is diminished. It is on the same side as the object but it is in front of the object in front of object then it is upright so you should have noticed some pattern now this pattern that you are going to notice is that anywhere you have virtual image virtual image is always upright for a lens a lens that forms virtual image that image is always going to be upright at no point should they ask you about properties of image formed by a lens you now pick that the image is virtual and it is now um, inverted it is not possible once the image is virtual automatically is going to be what is going to be um, erect when it is virtual it's going to be erect but when it is um, inverted that's when it's going to be a real image so this covers everything about formation of images by what by lenses now apart from knowing how to draw these diagrams or visualizing these diagrams because these are actually going to be serve as um, some very basic and important knowledge for us by the time we start optical instruments so it's very important for us to like know how these diagrams are gotten is either you know how to draw them or you know how to visualize them or you just think about it look at this first one the object is what beyond 2f then the image is between 2f prime and f prime so when it is beyond it will fall within look at this when it is at 2f at 2f is still at where 2f prime look at this when it is now within it now falls beyond you see that this is opposite of the previous one then when it is at f the image will be formed at infinity then when it is um when it is between f the image is going to be a virtual image then there is la one last one that i did not draw that's when the image is at infinity so when you have your image at infinity what is going to happen i think let me quickly erase this and put it on this side when your image when the object is at infinity rather not the image is at infinity so let's see what's going to happen 
so let's have our length so when the object is at infinity we have f we have 2f we have f prime we have we should get here we have 2f prime so when the object are, is at infinity the light rays are going to be coming from infinity right so we're going to have and the light rays are going to be parallel so we're going to have a light ray that will come this way through the optical center we know that that one is going to is not going to be deviated right so let's say this is the second one that is coming parallel to the first one now if you look at this second one it has passed through the focus so it should be what refracted parallel to the principal axis so this is how it's going to come now look at where the image is forming it's forming at where at the focus this is actually very important so that means that when you your object is at infinity your image is going to be formed as well at the focus and it's going to actually going to be a real image so that is also important it is real it is inverted it is where at the focus and it's probably going to be diminished it's probably going to be diminished now if you look at this thing another way you can know whether it will be diminished or not is that you can compare the distances look at this the distance of the object is very big compared to the distance of the image so the image will be diminished look at this they have equal distance right so it's no, it can be diminished the, the, we have equal sizes also now look at this this is a smaller distance compared to this so that means that the object will be the image will be bigger now this is what a small distance compared to the distance of this which is formed at infinity so that's what that's also going to be a magnified image now look at this also this is a small distance compared to this distance so this is also going to be what a magnified image now look at this this is a big distance compared to this small distance so that's actually going to form a diminished image so you can also use the con uh, the distance to like compare when the image when you are going to form a magnified image or a diminished image so i think that should be all on how to draw the ray diagrams and also how to know um, the properties of the image that is going to be formed at any point where you place your object from the two lenses so in the next video we are going to look at um how we can know these things from formula it's also possible for us not to draw these diagrams and know them from formula it's possible for you to just look at you can there are many ways of doing this thing you can look just look at it and identify the patterns identify the patterns then use it to like code everything or you use formula use that formula for the lens formula and you still arrive at the same results so we continue in the next video